Well, welcome to Arc Linux B Plasma. I have been making a tutorial about keyboard shortcuts and this thing is still there, standing there on my desktop and I promise you guys I would not change anything to the system without filming it. So um, this is our keyboard shortcuts. So all the variety keyboard shortcuts are working. Means Alt N is the next one. Alt P is the previous one. Alt T is trash, which I don't want to do. Instead, I would like to do Alt F for favorites. And um, there's also Alt Toggle, which is now an O. So um, the video is about getting rid of this. How and where will we put it? These uh, settings that we want to keep afterwards. Because the keyboard shortcuts can be exported. They are, they can be exported. And it's here that we went in the other tutorial. You can see the video there that you can export stuff and import stuff. So that's super great. After a clean installation, get every keyboard shortcut back. But the thing is not about that. The thing is I need something to put it on. So, or you go to a USB external hard drives or put it on a cloud service, right? In this tutorial, I'm going to install Dropbox. Control Alt T opens up our console, right? And then you do, no, not sudo EA, and then find Dropbox. See what's the name, because a lot of things are in there. And there are some community stuff in here, as you can see, but the actual program is actually here. Now, we also have an Arca Linux repo for third party. And what do I see? That in the meantime, Dropbox has been upgraded, updated, right? And the number is bigger than the number we have. So please let me know if there is some, a change, uh, we can update it. But in essence, it won't change a thing. It means that uh, this is just an update and uh, it will work just the same if you install it with this one or with this one. It's just still Dropbox, right? It's just a version. Now, I am going to update it on my other computer and come back to this one so that the third party uh, repo has the same number as the other one. So um, just wait for me for a while. I'm going to update it on the other system. Okay, I went to the other computer and what I did was actually this. You can always check out what this is. This is a video that's included in the Arco Linux ISO, you know, at some point in time we'll make I will show you how to make an, a proper uh, Arch Linux distribution from scratch. And we everything that's related to building already is been hosted here. So the thing is that we need to go to the AOR. It's, it's, uh, you can follow the video here somewhere. We do went to the AOR, downloaded the snapshot, build it again, put it on the three third party repo upload it and update it and now it's here now everybody has an up-to-date version so remember this is 55 as um, well of five minutes ago and now we have on the repo third party as well 61 so that's how it works you get something from the aor put it on your own repo and then everybody has it but you need to update of course first because we need to get the new databases in and there's a new element in there's a lot to update so that's a bit of pity because i don't not want to um, update everything without um, well let's separate things right so Control c i'm gonna sudo pacman minus s then dropbox and make an update for uh, another tutorial so this is the thing i want to install and you see the number is correct 61 not 55 it's coming from the third party our own personal Arch Linux repo, we just did it five minutes ago, other computer. And now I say, yes, install me everything. So instead of building it yourself coming from AOR, which takes a little bit more time, now it just comes from our repo, it's pre-built and it's installed. The disadvantage is if there's a new version out and we have not noticed it because we're busy, right? Then the, 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 the well, the new versions will not be applied, simple as that. So Arch Linux or Arch Linux won't see it, that there is a new AOR version. 
Anyway, Dropbox is installed and that's the goal of our tutorial because I want to get rid of this file here. Uh, definitely for the future um, videos. So Dropbox is installed. Let's run Dropbox. Of course, it opens on the other screen. <laughs> and I have, uh, we will use this account here. It's a totally empty account and we will use it for this tutorial or these tutorials, right? So this is Dolphin. Oh, there seems to be something in there. That's good. Probably some images. Yeah, the wallpapers are in there. Uh, although it keeps, uh, stays empty. So we'll see. But um, yeah, it's so empty as, as can be. So that's maybe not a bad thing. So why is this apps desktopper there? Because of the fact that we have um, this here, desktopper, it should ring a bell. So when you say uh, favorites, then it's going to, if you linked it, of course, if, if you had it linked on desktopper.co, then you get this uh, wallpaper in here and everything is saved and, and guarded there. So there you go. You have um, now Dropbox on your system. And the only thing I, why I made this is because of the facts. So I'm going to delete it. We'll show it in another um, tutorial. But variety is well, the file or the keyboard shortcut, the one to keep it for later. So, or you move it, copy here, link here, escape. So that's something new that we don't really see in other desktop environments. You get this pop up and that's not bad. It's just another way of working. It's okay. Move and it's here and we won't see it anymore on our system. And it's here, down here, little icon, Dropbox, and it says already in green. So this is just one file, so it goes it's fast. And everything is synced, and I am rid of this thing up here. All right, enjoy using Dropbox.